morning, Whittier. I'm Amanda Granville. And I'm Naida Israelson. And, and welcome, welcome to WeTV. We Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Right hand over heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Whittier Wildcat Pledge. Ready, begin. I am a Whittier Scholar. I am respectful. I am responsible. I am safe. I always do my best and I strive for excellence. Thank you. You may be seated. The new survival skill of the month is accepting no for an answer. Step one, look at the person. Step two, say okay. Step three, say, step three, stay calm. Step four, if you disagree, ask again later. Now let's take a look at what kids have to say about last month's skill, making an apology. So I was going on the swings at PE and one of my friends were being mean to us and we were actually being mean to her. So we, she got off the swing and we were trying to talk to her so we said sorry and we made our apology. So Oscar was, um, he stole my headphones but then he said if, I could, if he could borrow them and I said yeah sure. And then he gave them back for saying sorry. And yeah, that's basically it. I was, I was walking while reading a book, then I accidentally stepped on someone's shoe. Then I apologized to them. Then I said how I'll do better next time. So, one time when I was playing kickball, this boy kicked the ball and I was trying to catch it. But then when I was trying to catch it, a bunch of people bumped into me and they all knocked me down but they all helped me up and and when we went when they picked me up they all said sorry to me today's avid interview is with miss hoffman hi i'm sadie packham and today our special guest is mrs hoffman welcome to etv thank you can i ask you a few questions about your college sure did you go to more than one college i did um, what college or universities did you attend? Um, I went to Riverside City College, uh, then I went to California Baptist University, and then National University. In college, which teachers influenced you the most? I think the teachers at um, Riverside City College um, influenced me the most. Um, I was in an early childhood development program, and they spent a lot of time investing um, their time and energy in not only educating us, but getting, us, getting to know us personally. That's nice. What do you like to do outside of working? Well, we love to go camping, and we take our dirt bikes and our sand rail, and we just enjoy spending time with our friends and family. I really like to go camping too. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite memory in elementary school? I think my favorite memory was when I um, moved up to Crestline. It's up in the San Bernardino Mountains. I was in fifth grade and I was really, really nervous because I didn't know anybody. Um, but the kids up there were really nice and they welcomed me in like I had been to school with them since kindergarten. Do you have any advice for any of the lower grades? Sure. Um, I think it's really important that they stay focused and they pay attention in class and listen to their teachers, that they are staying organized using their AVID tools like their organizational tool, their binder, um, and that they are practicing their times tables. That's really, really important. Um, and just following the school rules. I think that's pretty important. Mm -hmm. Thank you for letting us interview you. Sure. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Mrs. Hoffman and Sadie. Make sure to get or look for your jackets in the lost and found. Yeah, so you won't get in trouble for losing them. Battle of the Books is getting closer, so you better finish up all of your books. Book floats are due tomorrow. I can't wait to see all of those awesome book floats. Your book float can be about anything, as long as it's not violent. Here are some examples of your previous book floats on your book float. <laughs> so what's your favorite season? 
Oh, my favorite season is totally summer. I mean, two whole months without school, nothing could beat that. Tell us your opinion on the link below. Have you guys been doing the Read Across America activities? I have seen some really cool hair designs, pajamas, and mustaches. Get your best friend tomorrow and dress alike like for Twin Day. Marble Month is here. But remember, there are some rules. Rule one, all marbles must come in a container that is not glass. We suggest a bag or an old sock. Rule two, boulders, half pints, and steel marbles are not allowed. Rule three, no students should bring more than 20 to 30 marbles at a time. Rule four, marbles must be put away in, glass, in class. Teachers may take away marbles and not give them back. Rule five, do not swing your sock of marbles. <laughs> Rule six, Agree to the rules before you play. You may play for keeps if the player agrees ahead of time. Rule seven, play in areas you know are, you are allowed to play in. And the last rule is, if students argue or do not stop playing when the bell rings, teachers may take away your marbles. Marbles will be sold before and after school for $1. Everybody did fantastic on the fire drill yesterday. Make sure to keep up the good work. Thanks for watching WeTV. Have a fantastic day.